Hi guys, welcome back to my studio. I'm Gina and in today's video I'm going to be going through a bit of a design break, I suppose you could say. I was searching through YouTube and came across uh, Black Magic Craft and he was talking about uh, when you're working on a project continuously for a long period of time you can actually get a bit of um, burnout and so to avoid that is to pick up a project that is very different to what you've been working on and using that as a bit of a sort of a refresher or a bit of a moment just to take a bit of a break. So that's what I'm going to be doing today and I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break from all of the work that I've been doing recently and creating this uh, fountain complete with using five minute epoxy just to create a bit of a water effect. I haven't put anything else in the water I just was just a really quick simple little project to do and it's using foam core board as well as a wine cork and some other bits and pieces as well just to kind of uh, build up the structure. Yeah this was actually a lot of fun to do and it really did give my mind a little bit of a break it actually got me thinking about other things that I could create as well so yeah watch out for some of those videos coming up but yeah let's have a look to see how I've put this together I'll link uh, Black Magic Crafts video in the description as well because I think it's well worth looking at he goes into far more in-depth step-by-step tutorial on how to create this so if you are wanting to do something like this I highly recommend checking out his video but anyway here's my version of it so let's get started. I created this hexagon pattern to cut out all the different shapes but as I was actually going through and cutting them out I realized that it wasn't symmetrical so I actually ditched this and picked up Black Magic Crafts um, template. Um, it's in the link of his video, so if you want to create this, by all means, jump in and watch his video. The map board that I got was um, from the dollar store or from Look Sharp here in New Zealand, and I really thought was hoping that the um, paper would actually peel off really easily. Um, it did um, on one side, but not so much on the other. But just a little bit of water. Um, was quick enough to actually get the rest of it off. Here I'm just using a, a pencil, uh, it's not a very sharp pencil actually now looking at it, but um, it's a pencil and just um, cutting in some grout lines of where the tiles will be and I'm just trying to offset them uh, along the um, along the edges of the, of the fountain and I'm using a craft knife here just to cut through the very very top layer uh, just using a pencil was actually fine, um, but it did sort of want to sort of uh, not necessarily go in a straight line. But by cutting it through first actually definitely helps with that. So I'm just going to cut the top of it as well, just uh, put in some grout lines of where there may have been some tiles. So using um, just around where the, um, where the two pieces meet theoretically two pieces meet plus in the middle. So just going over that again with the pencil just to kind of deepen those up and then I'm also going to make sure that I go down the sides of the foam core board as well just to make sure that it looks like it's actually going all the way around the piece. Um, I do actually go over this with uh, rolled up tinfoil although for some reason I don't seem to have got the video for it just to add a little bit more texture into it as well and I just make sure that I go around all of the sides both inside and outside of the piece um, so not only on the top here but also um, on the very bottom piece as well uh, anywhere that would be seen once the piece is put together and I do just double check that um, sort of dry fit it all together before I start gluing it and then just on the very top I'm just adding in some cracks not on all of the pieces but just on a couple of them and then also making sure that um, anywhere it sort of touches the side I'm just going to go through and make sure that it follows the same uh, concept is what I've done for all of the tiles as well and just sort of follow those crack lines or grout lines down the side of the piece as well. And now comes the fun part of gluing it all together so I've glued the first couple of um, sides together and I'm just making sure that the uh, the grout lines are actually offset uh, along this the very outside of the piece just to make sure that they all kind of uh, look like it's well as real as possible 
um, really. So there you can kind of just see that they're offset. Well, it was rather quick, wasn't it? And then um, just making sure that the top piece um, it gets glued on as well. So there you can sort of see on the very bottom, I haven't gone through onto the inside, but just on those outside pieces of match the top and made sure that um, it makes it look like there's tiles on the bottom piece as well. So moving on to create the circular pieces, um, I followed the same steps for all three. And so I'm just using two, um, two layers of the foam core board. So that they're about five mils thick each or a quarter of an inch. So um, just two layers gives me about 10 mil, which is plenty deep enough for the fountain. And just sort of placing those two together and then very, very carefully with um, an X-Acto blade, because I know that I've got that blade directed towards my fingers, but just very, very slowly, very, very carefully going around on an angle to create the shape of a bowl is basically what I'm trying to do here. And then what I'll do is I'll end up by gluing the two pieces together. And then just using a pencil, I'm going to go through and create the decorative um, elements on the just on the outside of the um, fountain pieces. And um, anywhere along the edge where it makes sense uh, that water would want to run over the edge. Although with the epoxy that I'm using, I'm not intending to have water running over the edge. And so I do the same um, for the other pieces as well. So this is the smallest one that goes at the very top. And then I'm just basically following exactly the same process. This is the larger one that sits at the bottom. And I thought I might be able to just get away with having the two. So the well, basically the, the base, um, which is more of the concrete structure, um, the hexagonal structure and then having two of these um, bowl type shapes but what I realized um, was that the small piece was was too small um, for the difference in the sizes so I actually go through and I create a mid-sized one as well although I don't have that on video but you'll get to see that um, when we start gluing them all together so there um, there you go there you can see the um, the mid-sized one there as well so it's exactly the same process all the way through so now i'm just going to cover it with a mixture of black paint and matte mod podge and just covering all of the pieces um, up with that coating as the first layer um, of the of the process which is basically just kind of adds a bit of waterproofing to it and just actually seals it all up then uh, I'm going to go over it with a really sort of mid-grey, sort of mid, mid-grey? mid Yeah, it's a mid-grey. And I just mixed in a slightly little wee, wee bit of um, yellow with it as well. Now I'm following a slightly different process for painting. Um, I know a lot of people use um, a dry brush um, after the first coat. I'm actually going to go through and put a couple of layers of sponged paint um, mixing white in with the with the color the previous color until I get to a point where um, I've got more of a speckled type of effect on it then um, once I've kind of glued all these pieces together although I did realize that this particular glue that I'm using actually melts the foam which was not ideal um, for the smaller pieces it was actually all right but for one of the larger pieces I needed to go back and, and re-glue it and then I found this little bird that I actually painted up exactly the same. So it almost looks like it's a concrete bird at the top. And then once all the paint was dry, I'm just going to go through and put a wash over it. Now this mixture is a mixture of water and black paint, as well as a little bit of um, rinse aid, just to sort of help it sort of spread out a little bit. But what I found is that I think it was either the glue that was um, reacting to the foam or it was the mixture of the glue and the rinse aid that was mi mixing with the foam. Um, but you'll see on this one it just sort of starts to lilt all to one side um, with the cork. There could have been some alcohol still left in the cork. Uh, I don't know, but... Um, yeah, it just sort of all sort of started to look to one side. So what I'm going to do is actually just going to re-glue it, uh, but using a different type of glue, just to try and um, strengthen it up. I mean, it was just a wee bit of a test piece anyway, so I wasn't too worried. It's not potentially not, or it might go into another project. Um, 
but yeah so that that seemed to fix it which was great and then um here is the epoxy so it is literally from the hardware store i've got a local hardware store just down the road um, and it's usually used for like gluing stuff together but um, this is what i'm just sort of trialing out for the bottom and so i've just put pulled out a really small amount and mixed that together and then just spread that out across it's quite thick and doesn't really want to spread easily or run easily which is, which is fine because the purpose of it is a glue and you wouldn't want that running everywhere um, and then I realized that uh, I was only really getting only half of it out I thought that was it I was thinking gosh that's not very much at all but anyway we'll do so we make do um, we try and line it up as best we can and we get the top piece on and then I um, realized that there's actually a stopper in the epoxy so I let go of that and that's why I've got a much bigger mix here um, it's full of bubbles but actually the bubbles seem to be okay and I wasn't too worried about it I think if I was wanting to do something a little bit more serious or anything like that I'd um, put a flame across it but I just didn't want to get a flame anywhere near the foam core board that just seemed like a recipe for like disaster so yeah I just um, start from the top basically and then anything that was left over I just poured all into the bottom and um, this actually just sort of because there was so much of it it actually did actually manage to run round so there it is, it's all finished and I really hope that you've enjoyed this video just as much as I've enjoyed making it. It really was a break from all of the things that I've been doing. So if you like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I've also added a couple of more videos in here um, that I think that you might like. So thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.